So this is the ladder diagram for our PBL report, which is automatically car wash system. Before we press the start button, there is no value of number. We will move to the W5 register location. Thus, the system will now start to operate. Okay. After we press the start button, it will move value of 1, which is in which represent as hashtag 001 into W5 register location. After that, shift register will shift value of 1 which is in the W5 location to W5.00 which is referred as step 1. Thus, now W5.00 have value of 1 and now the conveyor air will be moving the car inside the automatically car wash system. So when car trigger the sensor one, conveyor air will stop moving and the soupy water sprinkler will work for one minute. After one minute, the soupy water sprinkler will stop sprinkling water and the conveyor air start to move to the brush station which brush the backside position of the car. Okay. So when sensor 2 is triggered, conveyor air will stop moving and start to brush the backside position of the car uh, for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, the brush will stop brushing the car and conveyor air will start moving again. So when sensor 3 is triggered, conveyor air will stop moving and it will brush the rooftop of the car for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, the brush will stop brushing the car and the conveyor air will start to move again. Then when sensor 4 is triggered, conveyor air will be stopped moving and the brush will start brushing the front side of the car for 2 minutes. Then the conveyor air start to move again. Okay, when sensor 5 is triggered, conveyor will stop moving and clean water sprinkler will work for 1 minute. Then the conveyor is start moving again. So when sensor 6 is triggered, Conveyor will stop moving and driver will be activate for one minute. When end station sensor is triggered, so the whole system will be stopped. 